have a Native American marker, you have Native American ancestry. To some degree, it does not tell you how much. But it Chapter 1. Jews and Indians The Decalogue Stone outside Los Lunas, New Mexico, is a sight seen by few people. Its very location is something of a state secret. You need a $25 access permit from the public land office to go to it. Only officials are very clear. They cannot and will not give you directions. I would never have found this Phoenician Hebrew version of the Ten Commandments, and this Phoenician Hebrew version of the Ten Commandments, and this Phoenician Hebrew version of the Ten Commandments, had it not been for a local Chueda, crypto Jewish parish priest. In an age when Muslim and Jewish monuments worldwide are being desecrated, his name will remain as closely guarded as the stone's whereabouts. Suffice it to say that the Decalogue stone rests in a hidden cleft amid the dry, juniper-studded hills of South Albuquerque, near the edge of the Isleta Pueblo Indian Reservation. It was Professor Robert Pfeiffer of Harvard University who first translated the Decalogue stone in 1949. He identified it as a short version of the Ten Commandments, as given in Exodus 20, and noted that the style of Hebrew letters on it was in use from about 1000 BCE. This dating would place it in the Age of Solomon, builder of the first temple in Jerusalem. It became the main focus of the Epigraphic Society's meeting in 1984, after a full account appeared by Professor Joseph Navy of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and his team. Very Fell reported later on the punctuation in the inscription. Theories have continued to spring up about how an archaic Hebrew text of the Ten Commandments could have been incised in expert ancient capitals in the face of a multi-ton boulder of volcanic basalt, one of the hardest minerals on earth. They range from a mad professor's joke, to a maroon Phoenician, to a troop of Boy Scouts, to you name it. Few seem to want to believe it can exist, but there it was before my very eyes. It says, I am Jehovah thy God, who hath taken thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of slaves. There must be no other gods before my face. Thou must not make any idol. Thou must not take the name of Jehovah in vain. Remember the Sabbath day, and keep it holy. Honor thy father and thy mother, so that thy days may be long in the land that Jehovah thy God has given to thee. Thou must not murder. Thou must not commit adultery. Thou must not steal. Thou must not give a false witness against thy neighbor. Thou must not desire the wife of thy neighbor, nor anything that is his. The inscription is... Epilogue the inscription on the Los Lunas Decalogue stone in Hebrew reads, Anochi Yahweh Elohecha.